Scenario One: Entertainment and Hobbies. Real Scene Three: Automobiles. A wheeled passenger vehicle that carries its own motor. Wikipedia. My goal: When I have completed Scenario One. I'll understand how to use past tense to answer questions beginning with was, were, and did, as well as the use of adverbs. I will also learn about the history of the automobile and the exciting sport of Formula One. Introductory questions: One. Do you know about the history of automobiles? Two. What are the fanciest car brands, in your opinion? Three. Who are the most famous car racing drivers? Introduction. An automobile is a wheeled vehicle that carries its own motor. Different types of automobiles include cars, buses, trucks, and vans, with cars being the most popular by far. Earlier terms for automobile include. Horseless carriage and motor cars. An automobile has seats for the driver and, almost without exception, one or more for passengers. Truck in the U.S. semi U.S. equals lorry in the U.K. History. Steam-powered self-propelled vehicles were invented in the late 18th century. The first self-propelled car was built by Nicholas Joseph Cunard in 1769. It could attain speeds of up to six kilometers per hour. In 1771, he designed another steam-driven engine, which ran so fast that it rammed into a wall, producing the world's first car accident. In 1807, François Isaac de Rivas. Designed the first internal combustion engine. This was subsequently used by him to develop the world's first vehicle to run on such an engine, one that used a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen to produce energy. This spawned the birth of a number of designs based on the internal combustion engine in the early 19th century, with little to no degree of commercial success. In 1860. Jean Joseph Etienne Lenoir built the first successful two-stroke gas-driven engine. In 1862, he built an experimental vehicle driven by his gas engine, which ran at a speed of three kilometers per hour. These cars became popular, and by 1865, they could be frequently seen on the roads. It is generally claimed that the first automobiles with gasoline-powered internal combustion engines were completed almost simultaneously in 1886 by German inventors working independently. Grammar structure one: past tense. The simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened at a specific time in the past. Where were you born? I was born in England. Were you born in London? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I was born in Liverpool. When did you buy your car? I bought it two days ago. Did you drive to Gainesville? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. My sister drove me. Famous cars from around the world. Aston Martin. Aston Martin Lagonda Limited is a British manufacturer of luxury sports cars, founded in 1914 by Lionel Martin and Robert Bamford. The two had worked together the previous year to sell cars made by Singer. Martin raced cars at the Aston Hill Hillcom. Near Aston Clinton, and the pair decided to make their own vehicles. They acquired premises at Abingdon Road in Kingston, 
and produced their first car in March 1915. The company's name was derived from Aston Hill and Lionel Martin. Following the interruption of World War I, the company was revitalized with funding from Count Louis Zborowski. In 1922, it produced cars to complete in the French Grand Prix and an Aston Martin set world speed and endurance records at the Booklands Motor Racing Circuit. Lionel Martin left the company in 1925 following financial difficulties in the next year a number of rich investors including Lord Charnward took control of the company they renamed it Aston Martin Motors and moved it to new premises in Filthrum the 1929 Aston Martin International was another successful racer and was followed by the Lamians and the Ulsters. In 1936, the company now owned by Sir Arthur Switherland decided to concentrate on road cars. The advent of World War II halted production and the company's reputation faded through the war's duration. Despite popular appreciation of Aston Martin cars, the company was often financially troubled. In 1972, it was bought by a Birmingham-based consortium, and again, in 1975, by the North American businessmen Peter Sprague and George Minden. The American owners pushed the company into modernizing its line, producing the V8 Vantage in 1977, the convertible Volant in 1978, and the one-off Williams Town-style Bulldog in 1980. William Towns also styled the futuristic Lagunda Saloon based on the existing V8 model. The Americans soon sold the company to CH Industrial who in turn sold the company to Automotive Investments in 1983. Barely a year later AI sold Aston Martin Motors to Victor Gauntlet, a petrochemical engineer and car enthusiast and Peter Livanos, a shipping tycoon. In 1986, the Ford Motor Company purchased 75% of the company, and the ownership past the parcel slowed down. In 1988, the company finally retired the ancient V8, having produced some 5,000 cars in 20 years, and introduced the Virage range. In 1992, the Vantage version was announced, and the following year, the company renewed the DB range, by announcing the DB7. In 1993, Ford finally bought Victor Gauntlet's remaining shares and took full control of the firm, placing it in the Ford Premier Automotive Group. Ford substantially invested in new manufacturing and quickly ramped up production. A new factory at Banbury Road in Bloxham was opened in 1994. In 1995, the company produced a record 700 vehicles. By the year 2002, 6,000 DBs had been built, exceeding production of all previous DB models. The DB7 range was boosted by the addition of V12 Vantage models in 1999, and three years later, the company introduced the V12 engine Vanquish. 2003 was a significant year for Aston Martin. At the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, USA, Aston Martin introduced the new AM V8 Vantage concept car. Expected to have few changes before its introduction in 2005, the new AM V8 Vantage brings back the classic V8 engine and will allow the company to compete in a larger market. The year also saw the opening of the Gaydon factory, the first purpose-built factory in Aston Martin's history. Also introduced in 2003 was the new DB9 Coupe which replaced the 10-year-old DB7. A convertible version of the DB9, known as the DB9 Volante, was introduced at the 2004 Detroit Auto Show. In December 2003, Aston Martin announced plans to return to motor racing in 2005. Writing
Questions for discussion. Who founded Aston Martin? When and where? When did the company decide to concentrate on road cars? Which company owns most of the shares of Aston Martin? What do you know about Aston Martin from the movies? Mercedes-Benz S-Class The Mercedes-Benz S-Class is an expensive luxury automobile designed and built by Daimler Chrysler in Stuttgart, Germany. The S-Class is both the flagship and largest car marketed by the Mercedes-Benz brand. It is considered by many motoring journalists and car enthusiasts to be an exceptional automobile. Models are designated by the size of their engine, such as the S430 or S600. S-Class vehicles marketed in the United States are named similarly but without the space, the S430 and S600, for example. History Since the unofficial inception of the Mercedes-Benz in the late 50s with the so-called Fintail model, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class has been the de facto standard of what a top-of-the-range luxury automobile should be. Fintail. The W111 Fintail series debuted in 1959. Initially powered by a line of straight-six engines, it set a new standard for luxury. The series expanded the line of 3-litre cars in 1961, the W112. A smaller Fintail line, the W110, was also produced at that time and became the predecessor of today's E-Class. W108 and W109. The S-Class was born with the W108-W109 series in 1965. These sedans got V8 power for the first time in 1968 with the muscle car 300 SEL 6.3. W116 The S-Class continued through the 1970s with the W116 series. Produced from 1972 through 1979, the most notable W116 was the high-performance, limited-production 450 SEL 6.9. This car boasted the largest engine ever installed in a post-war Mercedes-Benz until the 7.3L AMG V12 of the 1990s. W126 For the 1980s, the S-Class was updated and rechristened the W126 series. By now, most of the cars produced were powered by V8 engines, although a few diesel and straight models lingered on. The SEC Coupe body style was also introduced at this time. The W126 line lasted from 1981 through 1991. W140 The S-Class was redesigned for the 1992 model year as the W140 series. Once again, a large SEC Coupe was available. A V12 engine joined the lineup for the first time in 1992 with the 600 SEL. Production of W140 models continued through 1999. All Mercedes model names were rationalised in 1994 with the SE, SEL, SEC cars becoming known as the S-Class. Writing Question Questions for discussion. What is a top-of-the-range luxury? What kind of engine initially powered the Fintail series? What year was the S-Class redesigned? What do you know about Mercedes-Benz? Listening. Listen to Nicholas talking about some changes in his life. I used to have a lot of hobbies. Now I don't have much time for them. I didn't collect anything in the past, but now I collect antique cars. I never used to play sports, but now I'm into car races. I never bought magazines in the past, but now I buy car magazines all the time. When I was younger, I used to be messy, but now I'm very organized. I never used to worry about money. But now I do. The maintenance of my car costs a lot of money. Grammar structure 2. Used to. Used to expresses the idea that something was an old habit that stopped in the past. 
It indicates that something was often repeated in the past, but it's not usually done now. For example, Sam and Mary used to go to Mexico in the summer. Used to can also be used to talk about past facts or generalizations which are no longer true. For example, I used to live in Paris. BMW Z4 The BMW Z4 is a two-door rear-wheel drive roadster. The Z4 began production in 2003, replacing the BMW Z3. The design addresses many criticisms of the Z3. The Z4 is larger, more powerful and has a significantly stiffer chassis. The Z4 was designed by Chris Bangle and created controversy among car enthusiasts regarding his flame surfacing design and aggressive styling choices. His signature style can also be seen on modern BMW 7 Series and BMW 5 Series cars. While the Z4's front suspension is essentially the same as the Z3's, the rear suspension is considerably different. Previously, the car suspension was modelled on the E30 BMW 3 Series. Instead of a semi-trailing arm suspension, the Z4 uses a more advanced multi-link suspension. Options The Z4 offers a choice of three engines, a 2.2-litre, a 2.5-litre and a 3-litre. The 2.2-litre version can reach 100 km per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds but it is not sold in the United States. All are variants of the BMW M54 engine. Five-speed manual gearboxes are standard on all models except the three-litre car, which has a six-speed transmission. A sport package is also available, which adds stiffer, low suspension, larger wheels with run-flat tyres, and dynamic driving control, BMW's vehicle stability control system. Porsche Carrera GT the Porsche Carrera GT is a sports car manufactured by Porsche in a new manufacturing plant in Leipzig, Germany. History The Carrera GT was developed from a competitive race car design that was originally abandoned due to rule changes in professional racing. In 1999, Audi entered the world of professional Formula One racing and competition from Porsche was not desired. Ferdinand Pich, the CEO of Audi, and a major shareholder of Porsche, was able to arrange for the Porsche Carrera to be denied entry into the racing world. In addition, at the time, Porsche needed to focus its company's manpower on the development of the Porsche Cayenne and the VW Touareg SUV twins. Instead, the Carrera GT was introduced to the world in 2000 as a road car concept. It took some years to actually develop it into a road-going car. In 2004, 1,500 cars were produced at a cost of 440,000 US dollars each. In August 2005, Porsche announced that it would not continue production of the Carrera GT beyond 2006 and reduced the total production to an estimated 1,250 for the year. Design The Carrera GT has a 5.7 litre V10 internal combustion engine that produces 605 horsepower. Porsche claims that the vehicle will accelerate from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds and has a maximum speed of 330 km per hour or 205 miles per hour. The car weighs 1,380 kilos or 3,042 pounds. The Carrera GT is only offered with a six-speed manual transmission. The Carrera is significantly less expensive than its competitor, the Ferrari Enzo. The Enzo is priced around $660,000, compared to the Carrera's cost of $440,000. The Carrera GT is known for its high quality and reliability, which makes it one of the best supercars ever. Technology Technology of note found on the Carrera GT is the pure carbon fiber monocoque and subframe, dry sump lubrication and inboard suspension. This vehicle is the first road car to make use of a ceramic clutch. Technology that was formerly only found in race cars. A ceramic clutch, although difficult to master, allows the engine to sit lower in the chassis than any other supercar, both improving its aerodynamics and lowering its centre of gravity. Unlike its rivals, the Carrera GT avoids cutting-edge driving aids, such as dynamic stability control. Instead, Porsche engineers have placed their faith in a communicative chassis 
and the ability of the driver. Formula One Formula One, abbreviated to F1 and also known as Grand Prix Racing, is the highest class of single-seat open-wheel Formula Auto Racing. It consists of a series of races, known as Grand Prix, held on purpose-built circuits or closed city streets, whose results determine two annual world championships, one for drivers and one for constructors. The cars race at speeds often over 300 kilometers an hour, 185 miles per hour. Europe is Formula One's traditional centre and remains its leading market. However, Grand Prix races have been held all over the world and with new races in Bahrain, China, Malaysia and Turkey, its scope is continually expanding. Formula One cars are the most expensive race cars currently in production and the sport is among the most expensive in the world. As such, its economic impact is significant and its financial and political battles are widely observed. In recent years, it has also become known for its glamour. The sport is regulated by the Federación Internacional de Automobil, whose president is Max Mosley. It is generally promoted and controlled by Bernie Eccleston through a variety of corporate entities. Center British, Center American. The Beginnings The inaugural Formula One World Championship was won by Italian Giuseppe Farina in his Alfa Romeo in 1950, barely defeating his Argentinian teammate Juan Manuel Fangio. However, Fangio won the title in 1951 and four more in the next six years. His streak was interrupted by two-time champion Alberto Ascari of Ferrari. Though Britain's Sterling Moss was able to compete regularly, he was never able to win the world championship. Fangio is remembered for dominating Formula One's first decade and has long been considered the grandmaster of Formula One racing. The first major technological development occurred in the 1950s with the introduction of mid-engined cars which evolved from successful Formula 3 designs. Jack Brabham, champion in 1959 and 1960, soon proved the new design's superiority. By 1961, all competitors had switched to rear-engined cars. The first British world champion was Mike Hawthorne, who drove a Ferrari to the title in 1958. Colin Chapman entered F1 as a chassis designer and later founded Lotus, and British drivers dominated the field for the next decade. Between Jim Clark, Jackie Stewart, Jack Brabham, Graham Hill and Danny Hulme, British teams and Commonwealth drivers won 12 world championships between 1962 and 1973. In 1962, Lotus introduced a car with an aluminium sheet chassis called a monocoque in place of the traditional tubular chassis. This proved to be the next major technological breakthrough since the introduction of mid-engined cars. In 1968, Lotus painted an imperial tobacco livery on their cars and introduced sponsorship to the sport. In the early 1990s, teams started introducing electronic driver aids such as power steering, traction control and semi-automatic gearboxes. Some of this technology was borrowed from contemporary road cars and some items, like active suspension, were developed for the track and only later made their way through to the showroom. The FIA, due to complaints that technology was determining the outcome of races more than driver skill, banned many such aids in 1994. However, Many observers felt that the ban on driver aids was a ban in name only as the FIA did not have the technology or the methods to eliminate these features from competition. The team signed a third Concord Agreement in 1992, a fourth in 1997, a fifth in 1998 and a sixth in 2009. The latest Concord Agreement was signed in 2013, which runs 2013 to 2020. It includes a ramp-up of finances for the FIA plus a new rulemaking process for F1, which includes the formation of a strategy group and a slimmed-down F1 commission. On the track, the McLaren and Williams teams dominated the 1980s and 1990s. 
Honda and McLaren dominated much of the 1980s, whilst Renault-powered Williams drivers won several world championships in the mid-1990s. McLaren made a comeback in the late 1990s. The rivalry between racing legends Senna and Prost became F1's central focus in 1988 and continued until Prost retired at the end of 1993. Tragically, Artin Senna died in a crash at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. The FIA vowed to improve the sports safety standards since that weekend no driver has died on the track during a race. Drivers from McLaren, Williams, Renault and Ferrari, dubbed the Big Four, won every world championship from 1984 to 2009. Due to the technological advances of the 1990s, the cost of competing in Formula One rose dramatically. This increased financial burden combined with the dominance of the Big Four, who are largely funded by big car manufacturers, and has caused the poor independent teams to struggle not only to remain competitive, but to stay in business. Financial troubles forced several teams to withdraw from racing. Since 1990, 28 teams have pulled out of Formula One. However, in 2010, the dominance of the Big Four was finally broken by Red Bull, when Sebastian Vettel won his first world championship. Under Red Bull, he has gone on to win world championships in 2011, 2012, and 2013. Modern F1 The early 2000s were dominated by Michael Schumacher and a resurgent Ferrari. The beginning of the 21st century saw several Formula One records being shattered. In 2001, Schumacher set the new record for most Grand Prix ever won. The early record holder was Alan Prost, with 55 wins to his name. In 2002, Schumacher also set a new record by claiming the championship earlier in the season than any other previous driver. He won the French Grand Prix in July that year. In 2003, Schumacher claimed his sixth championship title, beating out the earlier record holder, Juan Manuel Fangio, with five championships. Schumacher and Ferrari haven't been the only record breakers. In 2003, Fernando Alonso became the youngest ever pole sitter by qualifying first at the Malaysia Grand Prix. Later that year, he became the youngest ever winner of a Grand Prix when he took the chequered flag in Hungary. Ferrari's championship streak finally came to an end on September 25, 2005, when Fernando Alonso clinched the third place finish at the Brazilian Grand Prix to become the youngest ever champion at age 24. Michael Schumacher had been world champion for more than 1,800 days. However, in 2008, in Brazil, at age 23, F1 driver Lewis Hamilton surpassed Alonso's record and became the youngest ever world champion. Grammar Structure 3 Adverbs Adverbs can be used to describe verbs. They describe how you do something. For example, she walks quickly, he sings nicely. 1. You can make many adverbs by adding ly to an adjective. Slow, slowly, loud, loudly. If an adjective ends in y, change it to an i. Heavy, heavily, funny. Funnily, add ali to adjectives ending in ic. Physical, physically, energetic, energetically. 2. Some adverbs are irregular and do not end in ly. For example, good becomes well, she dances well, hard becomes hard. He works hard. Fast becomes fast. He runs fast. Late becomes late. He arrives late. 3a. Usually the adverb goes after the verb it describes. She talks quietly. 
Not, she quietly talks. He runs fast. Not, he fast runs. Three B. If the verb has a direct object without a preposition, the adverb should go after the object. You sang that song nicely. Not, you sang nicely that song. He did the job well. Not, he did well the job. Three C. If the verb is followed by a preposition and an object, you can put the adverb in different places. He quickly walked to the shop. He walked quickly to the shop. He walked to the shop quickly. Number four. Adverbs are not used to describe the following verbs. These verbs use adjectives. B. I am quiet. Not. I am quietly. Seem. It seems strange. Not, it seems strangely. Look, that looks nice. Not, that looks nicely. Smell, that smells good. Not, that smells well. Sound, that sounds great. Not, that sounds greatly. Feel, that feels funny. Not. That feels funnily. Number five. Some words end in ly, but they are not adverbs. Friendly is an example. Friendly is an adjective. We can say she is friendly, but not she talks friendly. There is no adverb for friendly, but we can say she talks in a friendly way. Elderly and lonely are also adjectives, not adverbs. Kindly and early are adjectives and adverbs. Research spot. Look for more information about. One. Top sold car brands in your country. Two. Electric vehicles. Three. Reliant Robin, the worst car in the world. Four restrictions in modern F one.